What's up icons? It's the iconic fashion figure back with another video. And I'm just gonna throw this disclaimer out there now. If you hear something in the background, any background noise, it's because my food is on the stove right now. I'm sorry. I had to get my food going and get this video recording with this time change. It's throwing me off a bit, but a girl's gotta eat, so my food is on the stove cooking. So I started this whole journey on doing marketing segment for you guys because I can give you vendors all day long, but you need to be able to put this product in front of a customer so that they can actually buy it. So we're on this marketing journey to attract as many customers as possible and get as much traffic to our websites as possible. First portion of it was the Instagram portion, which we're still on that journey. I'm doing it with you guys versus doing it and then just showing you the results. I'm letting you guys see in real time what's actually happening with Instagram, what's real and what's not. But this portion, we're going to be doing email blast. Email blast can be very crucial to your business, but it also can hurt you depending on how many you're sending out every week. So let's get into talking about emails. So what is an email blast? Most of you may already know what an email blast is, but there's different type of emails that you can send out to attract your customers to your website, whether that's your weekly email, just letting your customers know what's going on with your business. It could be an email about new arrivals. It can be an email for abandoned cart to let them know to come back to your website. There's different type of emails that you can send out to market to your customers and get them to your website. Now, as far as who should be sending out emails, I say anyone with a business should be sending out some type of email, depending on what email it is. Maybe some business only offers services, so they wouldn't send out a new arrival email, but they can send out an email based off their services. Or if you are a boutique, which most of you on my channel are you can send out emails talking about your new arrivals you can send out emails about new sales and promotions that are coming up the opportunities are endless when it comes to emails when you're sending out these emails depends on your customer base when you first start out you'll want to try different times and different days of when to send out your emails and then look at your reports and analyze the reports to see when are you getting the most clicks and what time of day are people actually opening these emails so that way you know when to send them out because you obviously want to send them out at the time when people are most active. It's similar to social media. The only thing is email is a little harder because you got to actually get them to open it. It's not like they can just scroll through their feed and it's in their face. You have to get them to click to open it which has to do a lot with the title and then also the time of day that you're sending all your emails. For me, I tend to send mine out early morning. I notice that's when I get the most action when it comes to the emails. If I send it early in the morning, I get more emails open versus if I send it in the evening, not as many people are checking it. I don't know if it's because at that point, since I'm sending to businesses, businesses are closing for the day so they're not really focused on work they're now focusing on their personal life so i send it early in the morning because that's when people start checking their emails and start preparing for their day now how often you send the emails are entirely up to you of course if you do research on this there's a lot of people that are going to tell you to send them out as many times as possible because you want your name in front of people as much as possible me personally I don't do that because I know me, I hate all those emails. If I start getting too many, I will unsubscribe. So you decide how many you feel is best for you to send out. You'll start noticing if you send it out more and more, if you're getting more unsubscribes, slow down on it. Maybe people will stick around longer. So it's kind of like a trial and error type of thing to figure it out for your business specifically. For me right now, I'm only sending out one per week because one, that's all I have time for right now until I get someone that can handle my marketing for me. Two, I don't want to send too many emails. I don't want it to become too repetitive talking about the same things over and over again. I will say I send out the one weekly email, but I have it set for there to be triggers to send out like the abandoned cart emails or 
if there's a sale going on and someone clicks on it but then they leave it may send them an email to get them to come back and finish out the sale because it's getting ready to end type of thing but for the most part there's one email per week some people may get two or three but it is segmented so not everyone's getting two or three emails every week to do this I use MailChimp.com. I use it for all my email blasts to segment emails and to send out multiple emails at once. They do have a free version and there's also a paid. I use the free because it's what I need for my business, although I'm approaching the point where I'm going to have to switch to a subscription, which I'll be doing soon. But there's a free and a paid version basically on there what is called our campaigns and then you can set triggers within the campaigns if i'm able to get on there and show you guys i will show you how to set it up but i just don't want this video to be too long maybe i'll have to split it two separate videos but you can create the different emails within mailchimp they have templates that are already on there i used to use those in the beginning but i got very bored with them very fast they're so basic and plain so what I tend to do is go to Canva, create all my artwork in Canva, which I've shown you guys before in another video, actually one of the Instagram update videos. I'll throw in a clip of Canva really quickly, but I use Canva to create my emails, the graphics for the emails, and then I bring it over into MailChimp and create the email from there. For those of you that are starting out as a new business, you may not already have the contacts to send emails to. So I'm sure you have the question of where do you get your emails from to be able to send emails out every week or once a month, however you, how many you choose to send out. When I first started out in MailChimp, it gave me the option to create a URL for a sign up page. And instead of linking my website on my Instagram or any of my social media, I put the link for the sign up form. And people will click on that, and once they got to that page, they noticed it's not taking them directly to the website, but they would just sign up. So I started gaining emails that way, and then just from social media alone, people getting to know my business. And once they did actually get to my website, because the website was in like my bio, but not actually the link. But the website's in the bio, so they will go on the website, and then I have the pop-up form as well. So once that pop-up form comes up, they can sign up again. For me, since you have to be a member on my website in order to buy, I couldn't use it as a once you check out, sign up for email type of thing, because you already had to sign up for to be on the website anyway. But for those of you that aren't requiring memberships to shop your website, you can do that as well. When a customer is checking out, you can have a pop-up to let them know, you know, sign up so you can get updated information on new arrivals or promo codes or whatever. The other thing you can do in order to get emails is to offer a promo code or some kind of promotion when they sign up so once you sign up with your email you'll get a separate email that will include a promo code for you to shop on your first order type of thing of course when a customer checks out anyway i would recommend getting their emails regardless so make that a part of your checkout process include the email and there you go you have an email right there just be careful when adding a bunch of random emails because there are regulations against that now um, basically people have to sign up in order to get your emails and always make sure to include the unsubscribe link just in case someone is on your email list and then they choose that they don't want to you definitely want to have that unsubscribe in there so that they can unsubscribe at any time i definitely highly recommend sending out email blasts because it gets your name in front of customers consistently without you having to be in front of the customer all the time. It helps them to remember that you are there because remember there are a million other businesses like us out there. So if you're not always reminding your customer that you are here, your business exists, hey, you want them to come shop with you you have to always be in front of them. So sending out those emails help you to do so without actually physically being in front of the customer or having to mail things out 
because we're in 2020 now and things are different everything's digital but that's pretty much it on the email blast there's really not a journey to go through on the email blast for me because i've been doing this since the start of my business i'll try to include an example of one of my emails on the screen so that way you guys can see one of the emails that i've done created in canva moved it over to mailchimp have all my emails on there and then send them out thank you guys for watching